This tutorial explains various plugins available in QGIS and also about the GRASS plugin. In the, R, in the QGIS desktop, there's a, a menu item called plugins and it has an option called manage and install plugins. If you click that, you will see a whole list of uh, plugins populated. Uh, we, we, don't, we won't go through all these plugins, but there is one plugin of particular interest, uh, which is called Grass. And if you uh, check the box next to Grass, this will add this plugin to uh, QGIS. Um, a little bit about this plugin. This plugin will allow us to perform various raster uh, processing uh, tools. It will allow us to do some raster processing, especially that will give us uh, a capability to do some hydrological modeling. So if you uh, close this window, you will see that a few new options will appear under uh, in the toolbar area uh, which will include opening a map set and uh, creating a new map set um, adding a grass vector layer adding uh, a grass raster layer and some of these options are not active right now but these can be activated once a new map set has been opened or created um, so the way typically we will do is we will have uh, a raster or vector layer added into a grass map set and then once we have a uh, raster data available in a map set we can perform uh, certain uh, processes such like such as uh, flow direction flow accumulation delineating watershed boundaries uh, and finding stream networks in using a DEM data um, so in the in the lab exercises during the UVMN workshop, we will be using grass to perform some of our uh, watershed uh, and hydrological modeling exercises.